This is a another demonstration of the Harpoon 3 professional version. In this particular instance it's an engagement between a force of Super Hornet. The uh, F model is, um, is modelled here. Operating from a, um, a, a um, carrier battle group. We just start the, the simulation and let it start to run while we talk about it. In this case we're just seeing a single uh, side. We can't, we'll toggle it so that we can show everything. And we've got a, a, um, a sentry out here. You can see it's, it's uh, sensors operating. I can pick it up. And eventually when it starts to run we'll, we'll toggle it so we can see both sides. So it's possible with Harpoon uh, 3 you can, here it goes, you can see one side or both sides which is quite useful if you're using it as a training aid um, then you can see what you can see and um, not see what the enemy can see. Just to make it clear we're going to switch to um, toggle everything on you can see there's estimated targets here that are being assessed by the two sentries. You can see there's one sentry here and another sentry here. And what we'll do is we'll show all. And now we can see, just zoom in a bit, change the center of the picture, zoom in a bit. And you can see the flankers coming in here. Oops, one sentry's been taken out early on. We'll just watch this other sentry. And you can see the initially the um, Hornets um, provide a, um, a barrier capability, but what we'll find as the battle progresses, as the number of Hornets is reduced, then the tankers and the sentries become more and more vulnerable. Lots of missiles in there, we'll just slow this simulation down. It's now down in real time, we'll speed it up so that we can follow the rate perhaps of an individual missile. This is a, um, no, it's an aircraft, we'll just pick up a missile, an R-77 uh, coming in here, over here, this will be an AIM-120 C-7, yep, and so the um, two sides are engaged in a fierce air-to-air -air battle. Now as we zoom out, We can speed the battle up a bit, and once again, it's now running at 15 times real time, without a loss of any resolution. But what we can see now is, is the tankers over here, and we can see what happens. The tanker just lost. There's no protection for these tankers. Speed it up even more. What happens is it's now popping between um, every, every 30 second look. So you can see quite lots happen. You miss some of the finer detail in this. And it's a way, if you're doing Monte Carlo runs, of managing to fit large number of runs into a reasonable amount of time. Um, so which is what we've been doing. Typically we run simulations 10 times and average the results and um, um, in some cases where the variability is high that number of runs might need to be increased to 30 or so. Alright if we zoom out now we can see that there are only flankers left in the air so we'll pause the simulation and we will design and see what the results were. Okay, losses were all the airborne aircraft for the USA. Two tank, two sentries, six tankers, 24 um, Super Hornet Fs. A lot of missiles were fired, and there was one flanker lost, also with a lot of missiles fired. 
So that was a fairly serious um, loss for the US forces in this particular engagement. This uh, simulation now ends.